Let me just say that the Fire Gym Cup is probably the first Gym Cup that I actually feel prepared for. Like, I have a decent team. I might need to rework some stuff here, but uh, I feel like I have a decent team. Like, I have two Moltreses. What? I mean, I was going to ask what's better than that, but obviously three Moltreses is probably better than that, but... I'm running uh, three golems. I don't know how that's going to be. I only played like one or two games, and I'm, uh, I'm under 1,500 right now. But we're going to stop talking. We're going to start playing. But right now, let's check out the rewards for the Fire Gym Cup right now. So if you make it to 35 wins, you get a Groudon. So that's what we're pulling for right now. You get a second one at 65. So that's pretty cool. You get two, then you get all these uh, EX boxes. So we're going to try and get some wins and try and get that ground on because I failed at getting Dragonite last time, but we're not going to fail this time because I have a solid team, pun not intended. So for those of you who don't know how the Fire Gym Cup will run, basically one and two move point fire Pokemon will get an extra move point, and uh, ground Pokemon, not rock, ground, will get a damage boost. Let's take a sip of water here and let's win some games. going down. All right, He-Man. That's who we're up against. We have the first turn. Now, keep in mind, we have two Moltreses. That's like a Shuppet on steroids. We have a Shuppet that has, like, steroid rage right now. It has roid rage. All right. So here we go. We're going to send out our first Moltres. Try and stop my army of Firebirds. I also have a Ho-Oh. Who, if my Moltres decide to die, I'll just send Ho -Oh to to its death. It actually kind of looks like He-Man now that you mention it. Alright, so let's see what's gonna happen here. Here comes Vibrava. Here comes Moltres number two, or maybe that's number one, I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings. Moltres A and B. Okay. So what's gonna happen here? Now they have a Heatran, so I need to be careful about covering their goal point because. Okay, so we're going to fight here. Here comes a fight. We're going to roost. So this one's going to stay put for a little while. But that's okay. We can go here. Um, you know what? Let's let's move out one of our, our rock Pokemon in the meantime. Sorry, ground Pokemon. I did exactly what I said you shouldn't do. Okay. Um, I can move here. Now, Heatran won't be able to come out. I won't be able to be covered by this Reuniclus because it only has two move points. Let's see. Do they have a goal block? They do, so I kind of feel it coming. Oh, it's coming. Because I don't think it'd be wise. No, what are you doing? Use your goal block. You're really risking it here. Okay, we're roosted, so you can't do anything to me. So I'm safe for a couple turns. Um... But what can you do in two turns? Let's go here so we can get around this Vibrava and kind of keep some pressure there in case we need to. So you got one turn to do something. Just use your goal block. It's probably your safest option right now. Thank you. See, it's all you needed to do. Okay. We're going to go right here. And boom. So now we're going we're gonna to try and surround this Vibrava real quick. Uh, they might need to try and knock out this this Moltres. Or that one. I personally would have tried the other one, but okay, we got a Flame Charge, so we're good here. We're gonna go ahead and take this victory. So let's move over here. Boom! Vibrava, peace out, and we're gonna take that win. There's nothing they could do there. Now remember, you get a box, or you get a win streak up to 11 for every victory. Are they going to run the clock out, or are they just going to accept defeat? You get a win, uh, a box, win streak for every victory. More boxes equals more chances to pull something good. Another flame charge at insult to injury. More boxes, more chances to pull something good. Go to two, open a box, move on with your life. Don't go for 11. It's a waste of time. Just open more boxes. Go to two. Trust me. All right, so we took our way our first win there. We bring us over 1,500, so we look a little bit less like trash. We're recycling now. Now we are recycling. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to play another game. 
just gonna use my Moltreses just to dominate if I can, if I can continue to dominate with Moltres. All right. Look how cute this mug is. This is my favorite mug in the world. It's a ninja raccoon. Okay. So, got nobody to block any flying Pokemon here. They do have first turn, so we just gotta be careful. All right, I'm seeing some Pokemon with some, some nice chain levels there. So what's gonna happen? Okay, Heatran's coming out first. They have three move points, so let's see. Do we wanna go up against it? Um, yeah, what the hell? It's got three move points, we kinda gotta block it. We'll end the turn, we can force them to fight us. Now, they also have a Mew and a Ho-Oh, so they have quite a couple runners on this team. Debating what I want to do here. Because I could jump them regardless. I don't even think I need to run Hurdle Jump on this team. Maybe I should switch out my plates for something better. Okay, double chance. So they're going to try and knock out Moltres. Okay, but... They're not going to be able to, so what's going to happen here is I'm going to give them one more chance. Um, we're going to go... If I move here... Okay, so let's do that. Do they have a gold block plate? No. They have a lot of plates, wow. Alright, so they got one more chance. I think they had a second double chance there, so they might need to use it and attack me. Yep, here it comes. Who are you going to use, though? You're going to use Heatran again. So now, I have a pretty good... Ooh, we were so close. Magma Slide is probably going to take us out. Or does that just burn? I don't know. We were so close to hitting our Flame Charge. Um, what does Magma Slide do? Okay, it just burns me and puts me on wait for two turns. Or I'm not two steps back. Uh, which way are you going to send me? Okay, the battle opponent is knocked two steps back and becomes burned, then it has weight. So which way... Okay, you're sending me that way, which is fine, because we got another bird. So even if you hop on your goal right now, I might have just potentially won this, because I could set up a surround if they hop on the goal. They might want to try and take out this... this Moltres because it's burned. This, mul this double Moltres thing is just way strong. Okay, so I'm going to set up a surround unless you knock me out. I got to survive this. Okay, well, we're going to get knocked back again. I think the surround is imminent here. So let's move. So the Heatran's out, which is basically the only Pokemon they could take out if I block their goal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go cover that spot. Now... I'm just going to send in my army of of rat boulders. Honestly, you should just forfeit. And there it is. That's the way it's done. The double Moltres. Oh, it's so strong. All right, we're going to pop open this box right now. I don't care if I'm on a win streak. Oh, we got a booster ticket too. We're going to save that for our next video because uh, we have a rainbow box waiting, so... Be sure to look out for that. Okay, so let's pop open this box. Let's see if we get something good here. We're getting that grout on. We're gonna get it. And first, Ekans. Doduo. Absolute garbage, but that's okay. We're gonna get more. Anyway, thanks for watching my video, guys. If you will. Actually, you know what? Should we play one more? Eh, you know what? I was gonna end this, but we're going for the third one. Let's do it. Can we pull 3 0 with this team? I almost ended the video on you guys there. But, we must press on. Okay, Sal. That uh, Charizard is a little scary, but everything else I think we could deal with. Charizard is frightening, I have to say. Although, I think if it was evolved from Charmeleon, it would be even more frightening. Okay, so who are their runners right now? Doesn't look like they, um, actually Reshiram. 
Reshiram has three move points, but it's on a weight nine, so they can't get out too quick. So we just need to get around this Charizard. Let's go here. They only have two move points, so they're not getting us. Okay, I don't know if I would have did that. We're gonna go here. Do you have a goal block in the turn? Nope, you have a hurdle jump though, but it doesn't matter because I can fly over you. So, unless this is another bot, I feel like I've been I've been matched up against bots. Okay, we're gonna knock out this Gabite, and we're just gonna win the game right there. See, look at that. We could squeeze in another quick win before we end the video. Going 3-0 with the double Moltres team. Too good, too good. If you have Moltres, just trust me, run it, run it, just run it. Um, all right, that's four wins. You know what, let's pop this box open. Pop open another box for the video. Hopefully we get something better. More boxes, more chances. Remember, people. And we're going to pull a Cacnea. Cacnea is actually pretty strong for a common. Don't sleep on Cacnea. Anyway, let's end it here. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Duel and some other great content coming real soon. We have a lot of great stuff on the way with this Fire Gym Cup. Hopefully, we can just keep running the train, the Fire Firebird train right now. Um... Also, be sure to check out my Discord channel in the description below. Come hang out with myself, some other cool people. We have some more tournaments coming up. We've had our first winner this past Saturday, and we have another one coming up in May, so don't miss it. Join my Discord and take place in the next tournament, and you can win some cool prizes. We'll see you later. Peace.